this weekend, right here at home, you're going to be able to enjoy the jo Jewish Food Fest. It's going to be fun for the whole family. I know. I'm excited for that. Well, we have a very special guest with us. Here's Marcus Lozano, who is here morning, to talk about uh, everything that's going to happen this weekend. And Marcus, first off, I want to start with, you know, we know that this hasn't happened. This is a pretty big fundraiser yes, for the temple. Is. Yes, um, it is. Go ahead and talk to us about, you know, last year this didn't happen. Sure. Talk to us about what is expected for this year. So uh, last year we did not have the Jewish Food Festival, but this year is the 37th annual Jewish Food Festival at Congregation Beth Israel. It is at 4402 Saratoga here in Corpus Christi. Uh, it will be uh, November 12th from 5 to 9 p.m. Uh, Sunday, November 13th from 11 to 2. We're going to have your typical Jewish treats plus uh, some brunch items. So today I brought, for example, I brought you yeah. a challah. <laughs> Phenomenal. What you see right there, those are cabbage rolls. So mm. cabbage rolls are one of our more popular things mm -hmm. that we get to serve. Uh, there again, there's a, a loaf of challah. Um, it's going to be really exciting. It's the Jewish Food Festival. It's a silent auction. It's a vintage shop. We have live music. You'll have inside and outside seating. So it's just a really great time for the whole entire family. I can smell this bread mm -hmm. from where we're standing. Isn't it, it amazing? Let's kind of, let's yeah. kind of see. And it there looks you go. beautiful. Ooh. Thanks yeah. for bringing this <laughs> in. Of course, this is for y'all. Have at it. Enjoy it. it it's uh, It has lots of carbs, though, guys. Sorry. Yeah. It's we're not okay. worried about that. We're not worried about that. It's the weekend. The weekend uh, is exactly. coming. So, I mean, we're pretty excited for that. So. Back to the event. Yes. Um, how is it different this year, especially that we're the pandemic is a little bit more right. behind us now? So. Um, in 2020, we decided to go forward with our, our Jewish food festival, but it was a drive through After uh, experiencing what we all kind of went through in 2021, we decided not to have one. So this year is going to be much like the years past. Again, this is our 37th annual. It's been going on since 1986. Wow. So to have things back to normal again, yeah. You know, we're just so excited to be able to do this for you all. And so, Marcus, I want to ask you, you know, sure. we know that, uh, you know, this uh, hasn't happened, like you said. And uh, we saw that last weekend with the Greek Fest. It was right. just a big hit. A lot of people yes. wanted to get out. This weekend, we're hoping for a big hit with the Jewish yes, Food absolutely. Fest. Um, so, you know, how, around how many people are you all expecting this uh, this weekend? So, you know, the, the funny thing is we don't actually count people by how many heads come through yeah. the door. Uh, every year we make 1,200, 1,400, 1,600 cabbage rolls and we sell out every time. So that's how we gauge it yeah. by, if, by sell out and we typically do. And so I, I think my favorite, I know, and I've tried it, you know, yours with the matzo ball soup. Yes. Is that going to be there too? Yes, matzo ball soup, <laughs> split pea soup, kugel, be holla, there or be all square. of it. We're going to post the details of this festival on our website, ChrisTV.com. That's right. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you. Marcus. We Thank appreciate you. it.